Good morning everyone and welcome here to Emmanuel Church in Bridlington. Um, good morning everybody who's gathered with us in church and for those of you who are online this morning, I can see we've got Helen with us, we've got Hilary and Rini and Lorna and Lynn and Susan, so good morning to all of you and Pat as well, it's great to have you with us. Um, I'm uh, Rich Townend, I'm part of the leadership team here at Emmanuel. If this is your first time here, you're very welcome. Please join us at the end of the service um, for a cup of tea or coffee and you can get to know us a little bit better if you want or feel free to disappear right at the end as well. Um, but you are very welcome. Uh, before we get started properly, just a couple of little notices. Um, we are collecting various things at Emmanuel Church. We are collecting, uh, as you, at the back of church, you can bring your batteries, you can bring glasses, you can bring light bulbs, which we will recycle, and you can now also bring ink cartridges. So if you bring ink cartridges through, and there's a picture just about to come up on the screen of the ink cartridges, uh, the boxes at the back of the church there. There we go. Uh, you can collect it, bring your ink cartridges ink cartridges in as well to be recycled here. Um, now, uh, they are for Burton Agnes School, who are collecting them for school funds. Slightly randomly, we also have lots and lots of mushrooms in the kitchen at the moment. So if you would like to take some mushrooms home with you at the end of the service, please feel free to do that. Okay. Now, I'm sure it's... Uh, it's not got beyond your notice that today is the celebration of the Queen's accession to the throne. And here is a picture, and there might be someone in there that you recognise, well, two people, actually, because that person uh, just to the left of the Queen is a very young me. And I think the Queen, I think the Queen has aged slightly better than I have. Uh, but actually, the Queen did say something to me and my but obviously it is a, a very special day, this, as we mark 70 years um, at the, the Queen's Jubilee, and we will be doing more on that in the summer. But before we move on to the summer activities, I'd just like to watch a short video from 1947. It's the Queen's birthday in 1947. Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth, speaking from South Africa on her 21st birthday, marks the occasion with this simple but historic message. Let me begin by saying thank you to all the thousands of kind people who have sent me messages of goodwill. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. But I shall not have strength to carry out this resolution alone unless you join in it with me, as I now invite you to do. I know that your support will be unfailingly given. God help me to make good my vow, and God bless all of you who are willing to share in it. What a wonderful lifetime of service uh, she has given. And on top of that, um, probably the best witness of the Christian message you will find anywhere in the world in terms of the profile that she has and the millions of people that she's able to reach out to with her very strong faith. So it would only be right for us to be upstanding as we sing the national anthem together. So please rise to your feet. be seated. We say our opening prayer. 
loving Lord, fill us with your life-giving, joy-giving, peace-giving presence, that we may praise you now with our lips and all the day long with our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We have our first song today. It's a music group video that they've put together for us, hot off the press. Thank you to Jaden for sending this through last night. Uh, it's Father, I place into your hands. Please feel free to join in. The things I cannot do Father I place into your hands The things that I've been through Father I place into your hands The way that I should go For I know I always can trust you Father I place into your hands My friends and family We love to see your face, we love to hear your voice. Father, we love to sing your praise and in your name rejoice. Father, we love to walk with you and in your presence rest, for we know we always can trust you. Father, I want to be with you and do the things you do. Father, I want to speak the words that you are speaking to. Father, I want to love the ones that you will draw to you. For I know that I am one with you. Father, I want to love the ones that you will draw to you, for I know that I am one with you. Thank you. That was great, wasn't it? Thank you very much, uh, Music Group, for that. Um, a few people on our online stream are having some problems. Don't worry too much for now. Just, is my microphone on? Sorry. Um, don't worry too much just for now uh, we will be obviously putting the service on YouTube later on as well as we come to our um, time of penitence we remember the things where we have let God down and this is our time corporately as a church community to acknowledge that we do get things wrong sometimes we categorize things don't we into big sins and little sins but this is our time where we admit that actually we are not as perfect as God would have us be and yet our God loves us and uh, delights in us so let's come before him now with our prayers of penitence Lord God our maker and our redeemer we confess our sins to you we have willfully misused your gifts of creation Lord be merciful Forgive us our sin. We have seen the ill treatment of others and have not gone to their aid. Lord, be merciful. Forgive us our sin. We have allowed dishonesty and failed to strive for justice. Lord, be merciful. Forgive us our sin. We have heard the good news of Christ but have failed to share it with others. Lord, be merciful. Forgive us our sin. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins, and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, now next we've got a song that is going to involve some actions as well. So if any of the action team want to come forward, and you can help me with these, and I'll take you through the actions. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'm going to move, put myself onto the, uh, the radio mic. OK. 
Okay, and I'm going to come forward. So now, some of you in here might remember a song called the Macarena. Does anyone remember the Macarena? Yeah, some of you. Some of you yeah, I can see some of the. Uh, some people of my generation might remember this, but it was one of those things that when I was young, when the Macarena came on, everybody had to get up and do it, and I definitely didn't want to be involved in this at all. So when I looked at the service running order today and I saw that this song was on and Richard said, oh, it's just the action to the Macarena, you can imagine how I felt. But I'm going to give this my all. So the, uh, the Macarena actions go like this, and you are going to have to get involved with this. I'd, a- I'd ask you to stand up for me. It's quite a good workout, actually. This it is. It's, you know, we are, we are healthy for body, mind and soul here at uh, Emmanuel. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. So the Macarena is you first go out with your right arm and then your left arm and then palm up with your right palm up with your left and then it's onto your sort of onto your elbows isn't it right and then left onto your head right and left and then onto your opposite hips across yourself and then back onto your hips right and left like that okay and then a kind of wiggle and a clap I think the twisting round bit's going to be quite tricky we're not going to do that it's going to do it we do that. Oh, hang on. This is this. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, we should. Yeah. It, 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 there's something a bit sea shanty about this, Richard. If I think like that, I'm going to really enjoy it. So, okay. So we should have some words coming up on the screen. That's the one. And actually, if you're not really into the actions at all, the words of this are really quite profound and meaningful as well as we think about our Christian faith. So let's uh, drink in those words as well as joining in with the actions. Okay, take it away. Do this, do it. Okay. Me to be the best that I can be. Jesus came to show the way that I can know. My fullness if to Him I go. God is the one who wants the best for me. Wants me to be the best that I can be. Jesus came to show the way that I can know. My fullness if to Him I he forgives my sin and fills me every day With how to live for Jesus in all I do and say There is nothing in my life for which he doesn't care He always will be with me all the time and everywhere God is the one who wants the best for me Who wants me to be the best that I can be Thank you. 
<laughs> please, please take a seat after that. <laughs> Actually, I think the most entertaining thing about that was watching you lot do it as well. So thank you ever so much for being involved too. It makes it so much easier when you've got good sports in the congregation. Right, now I do believe that we have got some special uh, helpers in our service who are going to be uh, helping me out with our sermon today. And here they come. So now, when we um, were um, in the summer holidays, we did some beach activities. And on the beach activities, if you remember them, if any of, any of you came, we had some stories with some puppets. And the puppets were really engaging for all of the children, um, telling stories like the Good Samaritan and uh, the Wise and Foolish Builders. And we had lots of fun playing lots of games, and it might be in the summer we'll be doing that again. But we did think, with this big box of puppets, it's a bit cruel to leave them in the box all year round. So every now and again, they do make an appearance. And I thought, since this is an all-age service, we should really give them a chance for the sermon slot. So they're getting themselves ready there. And I'm going to come round here. Okay, so just to introduce you to them. Oh, so could we just have the vocal mic on, please? The puppets, uh, they do like to make sure that they're heard as well as seen. Give it a tap. Yep, you're on. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to our puppet friends. We have got Bobby and Betty. Let's uh, let everyone wave to Bobby and Betty. Bobby and, Be Bobby and Betty, you might want to wave back to people. Our puppet friends. It's great to have you with us. So glad to get you out of the box. Um, and uh, have you caught anything today? Looks like you've la, been busy. La, 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 it was good, wasn't it? We all enjoyed that song, yeah. What? Were you dancing away as well? What yes, do you mean? I'm glad to. So, have you caught anything yet? What do you mean? Well, you're fishing, aren't you? Oh, yes, it's great. We're having a lovely day. Well, so, have you caught anything yet? Well, uh, I might have caught you cold, unless it gets warmed up soon. Uh, what else would we catch? Well, you're fishing. Have you caught a fish? Of course that's what I'm asking. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. But that's the whole point of fishing. You get your uh, rod, and on the end of that, you've got a line, and attached to the line, you've got some bait, which looks like some lovely jelly snakes to me. You put it down into the sea, you wait for uh, a fish to come along, take a bite, you reel it in, and there you've got it, supper on a plate. That sounds horrible. A slippery, floppy fish in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. But that's fishing. That's what it is. I think we need some help. Now, here we are in Bridlington. You can't go anywhere and learn more about fishing than Bridlington. So I'm going to go and have a chat with the people out there to see if they can give us any tips that might help you out. So I'm going to put the handheld mic on. And does anybody have any tips for these two, for Bobby and Betty, for fishing? Anyone got... John's got something there? There's one right back by them. Some, uh, there is some there. Yeah, yeah. there is. You need, you need to put drop down a bit towards them. Yeah, so we know there's fish there, Bobby and Betty. That's what John's saying, because he can see them. Anyone else got any tips for fishing at all? I've got another one over here. Get up early and dig some bait. Oh, get up early. Maybe, maybe you need better bait. Maybe the jelly snakes aren't really going down well with the fish here. Anyone else got any good tips for them? Have we got any fishermen here? Every now and again, we do get genuine fishermen in our church, and it's brilliant when you hear their stories and you think, this is what it's all about, living in Bridlington, being on the sea. Don't, don't get your lines caught. We keep getting the lines caught. That's really good, actually. Ryan says you keep getting your lines caught up, and that's going to affect your fishing as well. So we've had some good fishing tips there. Um, do you think any of those have helped at all, Bobby and Betty? 
Not really. <sighs> okay. Let's try something a little bit different then. Um, I've got a little video now for us to watch, and it's a story from the Bible. It's our story for today. This might help us, so let's watch the video. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Gennesaret, the people were crowding around him and listening to the word of God. He saw at the water's edge two boats, left there by the fishermen, who were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from shore. Then he sat down and told the people from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and let down the nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we've worked hard all night and haven't caught anything. But because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. For he and all his companions were astonished at the catch of fish they had taken. And so were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, Simon's partners. Then Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will fish for people. So they pulled their boats up on shore, left everything, and followed him. Oh, they made it look easy, didn't they? Well, hopefully Bobby and Betty took some tips from that. What do we think, guys? But they're rich. Yeah? How do we do that? Well, I think you just need to be a bit more patient. That's what fishermen need to do. Wait a while. I'm going to talk now for a few minutes to these lovely people here, and you can just carry on waiting patiently for a fish. But, Rev Rich, will you help us? Look, just amuse yourselves for a bit, will you, please? These people are used to the best biblical teaching in Bridlington. I mean, Richard talks about Zechariah and, and translates Greek and Hebrew texts. I didn't go to Bible college, no offence, to, to talk to puppets. Well, you started talking to us first. <laughs> <laughs> but that rich, yes. we're confused. What does he mean, fishing for men? What he means is going to catch new followers. OK, I'm going to speak now. OK. What does that mean, Rev. H? Look, can you not just give me a moment? You're just going to keep pestering me, aren't you? Right, OK, we're going to have to do this slightly differently, everyone. Um, what does it mean to, to catch people, to catch new followers? Uh, oh, I've got an idea, a good way of showing you. Well, look at this mirror here, OK? What can you see in the mirror? You can see a reflection, yeah? Well, what Jesus is asking people to do is to follow him, to copy his example as if it's a reflection and we're trying to do the things that he does. That's what it means to be Christ-like, to follow Jesus, to do the things that he would want us to do. I don't get it. Oh. Well, look, let me think of this another way. Um, Ah, like, you know, the game Simon Says. Do you know Simon Says? Yeah. Simon Peter? No, 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 not Simon Peter. The game Simon Says. Surely you know it. So what happens is Simon Says an action, and then everybody's got to do that action. But if Simon doesn't say the action, then nobody does it. Do you understand? OK. Sounds fun, very it, rich. Oh, it is, it is. We'll, we'll give it a go now, all right? In fact, we can get the people in the congregation to help us out as well. So, Simon says, touch your head. That's it, they're good at this. The puppets are good, the congregation are good. Simon says, clap your hands. Very good. That's not as easy for puppets, is it? But now you've still got it. Jump up and down. 
Ah, Simon didn't say jump up and down. So you shouldn't have done that. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. I'll give you another chance. You're not out just yet. Here's one. Simon says, take up your cross and follow Jesus. How do we do that? Yeah, that is a bit tricky really, isn't it? Well, when Jesus asks people to, to follow him, what he's saying is he wants them to imitate him, to copy him, to turn away from their past lives and to live in a way that's pleasing to God. Ah, oh, this sounds a quite a complicated game. Well, yes, it is, Bobby. It is complicated. But with God's help, we can all get pretty good at it. Will God help us, Rev Rach? Well, yes, of course he will. Brilliant, but Rev Rach. Yes. We still haven't caught a fish. What should we do? Well, why don't you try praying? Because one of the things Jesus said was, ask and it will be given to you. Oh, okay. Dear God, we ask that you give us a big fish. Amen. Amen. Rev Rich. Yes. Nothing's happening. Well, well, sometimes prayers aren't answered in the way that we would hope. Sometimes we ask for something and it's maybe the wrong thing. And sometimes we just have to wait. And sometimes God's plans are better than our plans. And sometimes, this is the really hard one, bad things happen and we just don't know why. Why not catching a fish? Well, I was thinking of really bad things. I mean, you know, in the scheme of things, not catching a fish isn't the worst thing that could happen, is it? But let's just say today, yes, here you are wanting to catch a fish. You haven't caught anything all day, so that's quite a bad thing, isn't it? Rev Yes. I think I've got a bite. Have you? Oh, wow, you have as well. It's a whopper. Wow, look at this. We've got one. Give them a round of applause, everybody. Rev Rich. Yes, Bobby? Can I go now? I want to have an ice cream. Oh, you can go for an ice cream. That's fine. Off you go. Thank you very much. Bye it's a bit bye. cold for an ice cream, though, isn't it? Bye there you go. Bye. I'm going to give you that. I'll pop it behind your thing there. Let's give her Bobby and Betty a big round of applause. <laughs> and behind every puppet, there is a great puppeteer. So thank you very much to Les and Chris for bringing that to us as well who obviously wanted to be very camouflaged, you can see by what they've worn, but uh, yeah, they're going to get really good at this. I'm looking forward to the summer beach missions now. Okay, we're going to stand together in a slight kind of shift in focus now, and we're going to say our affirmation of faith. So please stand as we say the words together of what we believe about God and about Jesus who calls us to follow him. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? Do you believe and trust in him? Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And we'll remain standing for our next song, which is, Will You Come and Follow Me? Thank you. 
please take a seat and Barb is going to come and lead us in our intercessions. Let's pray. Jesus, oh, sorry. We'll start by saying the collect together. Lord of the hosts of heaven, our salvation and our strength, without you we are lost. Guard us from all that harms or hurts and raise us when we fall. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Jesus, open our ears to your call, our eyes to your presence, and our hearts to your love. Give us the courage and strength to say, yes, I will follow Jesus wherever you send me. We thank you for our Queen, that she indeed said yes to becoming our Queen when her father died 70 years ago today. And we thank you that she has been an amazing witness to you through good and bad times. We thank you for her quiet determination and humility and determination to carry on serving you and serving the country. And we pray for her today, especially as her husband, Prince Philip, died so recently. Be close to her, comfort and help and guide her. We also give thanks for Bishop Allison as she is soon to retire. And we pray that her replacement will hear your call and say yes to being Bishop of Hull. Jesus, when you call, help us to follow you. Jesus, we pray for our government. May your justice and will be done. May your truth be spoken. We ask you to raise up leaders who are humble and seek to meet the needs of the weakest and the poorest, just as you do, Jesus. We pray for all the world's poor, for those who are hungry and homeless, and especially for those who've given up hoping for help. We pray for all the charities and people working to renew their hope and to transform their lives. We pray especially for the situation in the Ukraine and Afghanistan. And Jesus, help us to do all that we can too. Jesus, when you call, Help us to follow you. Jesus, we want to thank you for our church family and community. And as we face dramatically increasing energy bills and food prices, help us to know best how to help people who are struggling. We thank you for the CAP Life Skills course running at the moment and the help it's giving. We pray for all families finding it hard to care for themselves. We thank you for Family Fun and Food, ABC and Godly Play. And we pray for the youth group and toddly play starting soon. Jesus, when you call, help us to follow you. Jesus, we just want to thank you that you love each and every one of us so much. We pray for those who are ill, those about to have operations, and especially young Andrew. Be with him and keep close to him and his family at this time. And we pray for all those recovering in hospital and at home. May each one know that you are with them. Comfort and give them a big hug, we ask. And help us to remember to play our part and to call and visit them. Jesus, when you call, help us to follow you. And Jesus, we thank you that when you call, that you call us to be with you when we die. And thank you that you understand how sad we feel when someone we love dies. At this moment, we remember especially the family and friends and all those who worked so hard to save that little boy who'd fallen down the well. Comfort and strengthen and be with them. Comfort and carry us at these times and help us to look forward to seeing you face to face one day. Jesus, when you call, help us to follow you. Jesus, may you be our guide this coming week. May we listen to you calling 
follow you closely, knowing that we will make mistakes and can start all over again. Amen. Amen. Let's join in saying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Barb. Um, we are uh, moving on to our offertory song now as we come towards the end of our service. And um, hopefully a picture is going to come up on the screen for us, um, if I've loaded it on correctly. Uh, is there one on there? That's the one. Oh, no, it's not that one. Is that the one that came up? Well, there's a picture of godly play anyway. That's fine. That, that, will, that, that will do. Um, I, I uh, wanted to show some of the activities that are going on in church during the week. And godly play we obviously do on a Sunday, and that's our godly play room there in action. We normally have about seven or eight children going through for that. But during the week, we have lots of other activities taking place as well. Um, and actually, this week has been perhaps the busiest week um, that I've known since I've been here for things like um, our Tuesday meal, which is our meal for people who um, they might just need a meal, they might be homeless, or they might just need someone else to make them a meal that particular night. Thursday is our fun and food, um, which is for families to come and saves parents from having to uh, prepare a meal and to buy all the ingredients and gives them a chance to have a rest from washing up as well, but also be in fellowship together. So that's Thursday night is, is fun, fun and food. And on Friday, we have our ABC group for toddlers and for babies. And this week, each of those groups has been very, very busy. And that's great in some ways because we like to be busy. But I think it also highlights the issues that people are going through at the minute, the cost of living crisis that is affecting us all. We offer um, a food bank um, and, uh, you know, maybe not everybody knows about it, but we do want to be able to share the good things that people bring to us with other people that need them. Um, so just so everybody knows that those are some of the things that we do here. And uh, as we come to our time of offering, I want to thank people for all of their gifts, their money, for their, the food that they might bring to the food bank, but for their time as well, for their volunteering that they give us. And I would say just at this time, if you're thinking about a way that you could practically help the church, we could probably really do with some extra helpers um, on a Thursday night for fun and food, people who want to just come along and um, work alongside these families and these children and just provide that bit of nurture for them. It's hard work, but these children really value what we do on Thursday night. For some of them, it's the, it's the highlight of their week, they will tell us. So uh, as we come to this time of offering, as well as thanking you, please just think about what else you might want to do to help us here in our ministry at Emmanuel Church. The giving links will come online and uh, will also be available uh, later on. So we're going to sing our final song now. And I wonder if anybody might want to uh, wave a flag for us. I've got some flags at the front. Um, the song that we're going to be singing is One Way Jesus. And it's talking about laying our lives down um, and following Jesus, much like those disciples did in the story we heard today. So would anyone like to come and get a flag and we can have a, a really colourful scene here at the front of church? Feel free to come forward as the song begins.
You're the only one that I could live for You were always, always there Every hour and everywhere Your grace has found so deeply within me You're the only one that I could live for One way, Jesus You're the only one that I could live for One way, Jesus You're the only one that I could live for The way, the truth and the life We live by faith and not by sight for you Done, everyone. Thank you, those of you that helped us with the dancing at the front there, and at the back as well. Everybody who's been helping with the technical things, Ruben and Lucas, some of our younger helpers today have been helping out, out with the technology. Um, we are going to uh, say our closing prayer in a moment, but can I encourage you to stay for a cup of tea or coffee? Um, the Godly Playroom is open if anybody just wants to go in there and just have a little look. Godly Play is something we do when it's not an all-age service. All age service is the first Sunday of the month, but every other Sunday we have godly play on for the children um, as part of our service. So go and have a little look. That's where you'll find me after the service as well. Um, next week we've got communion at 11 o'clock. Remember we meet for morning prayer at 10 o'clock every morning here, and we have a 10 o'clock midweek communion on a Thursday. Before you go, remember we've got mushrooms to collect and we have a card to sign for Bishop Allison, which is at the back of the church uh, with Barbara and Richard at the moment. So please sign that. But let's say our closing prayers together. We are called and loved by God the Father and kept safe by Jesus Christ. Mercy, peace and love be ours in abundance from God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>